South Jersey bad boys. I can't not laugh every single time that we do that. It's just a jingle that needs to be on a... Like, Should we take out radio ads just to hear the jingle on 96.5? Yeah. I wonder how much a week of radio ads would cost just for us to plug in. They're probably a nickel these days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, we should invest. This yeah. would be good. That would be good. Just something about doing that kicks kicks me off into such a good mood with the mm-hmm. podcast mm-hmm. with a little jingle up yeah top. just a little jingle kind of sounds like a mix between uh, the o'reilly auto parts jingle and oh uh, oh, oh o'reilly that and like a stanley auto parts. S- stanley steamer mixed with a baptist church choir Stanley steamer haven't done that since college <laughs> <laughs> is that the one where uh, what I, is I that stanley steamer that is something with you take a shit in a condom and freeze it or something yeah this got off to a disgusting (laughs) start hey oh well my mom's gonna be appalled at this one to all of our moms listening yeah (laughs) um so south jersey fourth of july we took off for the fourth of july um that weekend uh because you know with our names uh being so irish we can't go a weekend without just holiday weekend hammered four days straight yeah yeah so uh, are you a big fireworks guy or no? No, not really. I think that fireworks, I like to watch them from afar, Yeah, but I'm not going out and getting fireworks and lighting them. No. I think it's such a trash. It is. It's trash. I mean, it's fun. If I'm with some friends, like, hey, I got some fireworks. I'm like, hey, you do you and light them off, yeah. but I'm not going to do it myself. I know. You know you have a problem with fireworks, especially, I don't know if it's like this 10 minutes down the road for you, but here there's people that light them off on like Wednesday afternoon and like uh, broad daylight. At that point, you, you, you kind of have a problem yeah and also that's annoying you're yeah. like you know hey i'm at work right now yeah yeah i'm working from home you guys are lighting off some f- sparklers like, in the back like if it's a holiday weekend and you do it when it gets dark until maybe 11 or midnight or something that's one thing but if you're doing it on like a wednesday at four o'clock yeah you got an it, issue yeah that's like something is wrong with the metal plate that's been in your head since yeah you, they just want to hear something go boom like it's very yeah get some afternoon bottle rockets that uh I've seen some of the you things that go by. Hobby. There's not even any like kids or, you know, families around. It's just a yeah. bunch of like, you know, 40, 50 year old guys in their backyard. It was yeah. Like, like I, I don't know. It's, and you just, I, I just see too many incidents of people. <laughs> Have you, did you see the video that was just online no. of the family just uh, sitting out there, classic, oh. like in the street and just like mayhem just blows the up. The Simply Safe thing? I don't know. It, it was a doorbell camera. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. The car I, started blowing up. I see shit like that and I immediately think it's an advertisement for like a, a very particularly Ooh, placed because yeah. the audio was really crisp on it. I'll like overlay you it in here somewhere. You're such a conspiracy theorist. So I'm just like Simply Safe because Simply Safe was trending all over the internet that day right. and that is a perfect advertisement because wow. it's not damaging to their brand and you don't know it's an ad. The thing got like 30 million views in a day. Who do you think behind this the cia yeah the cia has their hands in simply safe you just you never know how we're being manipulated we always are and it's very subtle all of the time and you and i we're naive we are very naive we're gonna get manipulated yeah we're gonna get manipulated a lot of the times we've gotten we've been manipulated by uh drunk boat captains of jersey shore fishing charters and we've got thinking that we're gay yeah exactly (laughs) all the time they say ahoy hoy boys and we sudden you wake up on fourth of july and you go hang on a second yeah where are my clothes yeah where are my clothes and why are there frozen margarita machines all over this boat sailor hat off of me and get the fuck out of here yeah then we realize you got tattoos all on us you can barely walk straight and uh that was our fourth of july um yeah. I, I enjoyed it but speaking of the south jersey fishing charters did you see 22 people were rescued as a charter boat sunk in sea isle 22 people rescued by local boaters as charter boat sinks off the jersey shore coast guard says what yeah and sea isle dude How right up the, the oh, ocean drive isle? yeah a day on the water took an unexpected turn uh this is exactly what i would expect getting on a jersey shore fishing on charter. board with the starfish the starfish it doesn't sound it's, very classy it's now sleeping with the starfish uh a fishing <laughs> charter boat struck a bridge around 5 30 local boaters sprung into action they uh driving their boats to the sinking ship rescuing everyone on board there was no injuries oh 22 people were on board and he basically hit a piling on a bridge Jeez. going out of the inlet at sea isle how embarrassing is that to be riding a boat and getting an accident yeah i mean you you got a boat dude. i do okay. and i haven't even driven it yet but i can guarantee you this if i were to hit something i'd have a pretty good damn if you hit a bridge like literally you With were 22 on, people on there <laughs> 
you are you are literally in an open waterway at an inlet going out to the ocean. There's no like lanes with like yeah. dotted lines anywhere. You gotta see that you're like, oh, we're not gonna make it. Yeah, under this. you only have like a quarter mile of space. Now I don't yeah. know this particular inlet going out of Sea Isle, but like you have a, a a lot of space to go, and somehow, and it's a fishing charter boat that's not too big. I mean, look at it. Like, I wonder if he got a BUI. He must have been hammered. Yeah, BUI. He's just turning around. So, yeah, I've been driving this thing since 1987. Uh, that case of uh, the cooler over there has has water in it. Man, these, what's in these twisted teas out in the sea <laughs> isle, dude? I was going to say, do boating you, under the influence. Yeah. <laughs> they arrested him. He's like, wait, you can't drink and drive a boat in New Jersey? Like, well, that's news to me. It's news to me. Yeah, I got Ooh, my nice. license back in eight. You don't never need to renew your boating license. Really? I just got mine and I barely passed. I got the bare minimum to get an 80%. 80% I got on the test. They're like, yeah, all right, well, you should probably study again. I was like, no, I got the thing. That's all I need, yeah. right? doesn't need to be renewed yeah, ever I, again. I'm not trying to get the high score. I'm yeah. just trying to pass. Also, that you would think that that would be more um, – you would need to renew that more than like a driver's license considering you're probably not boating all the time. It's a seasonal yeah. thing, so yeah. you're not – like you don't have that repetition. Yeah, that and uh, I think it's because there's a lot more going on. It's a little more confusing than driving, even though driving gets very muscle memory in a yeah. way um, with boating. And boats don't have brakes. So, like, yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly they Let's don't. Tell that to the starfish. Yeah. <laughs> captain of the starfish who was the cat does, does it say or no, they, it doesn't they give any out. info they no said injuries have been reported they're trying to salvage the boat they're trying to get it out of the which water, has been beached like, at the seattle yacht club that's where my sister's getting married oh shit yeah. so if you go down for the wedding it's like oh there's that beached <laughs> boat imagine if i'm there right for the wedding we're out in the dock we're man this is beautiful they're doing their vows and all of a sudden a fucking star <laughs> the starfish crashes into a crashes into the bridge Oh, what the <laughs> crash and shit dude, somebody just turns around from the uh seattle yacht club and they're like randy again <laughs> yeah everybody all of us in suits at the wedding gotta jump in and save these people like it's the fucking titanic yeah you guys go diving in you swim out to get somebody someone's on a door <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's room on that door bitch <laughs> they're wearing on they're wearing the 1913 uh, edition <laughs> of the fucking i mean how, what do you think the life-saving uh vests on the starfish were because they probably haven't been used in a long time oh yeah they, I, i'd be surprised if they had any they're probably just covered in cobwebs yeah they were just throwing the cases of bud light that were on it like hold on to this maybe yeah. it'll keep you maybe somebody brought one of the Coors Light uh, styrofoam coolers and it saved their life <laughs> yeah we can only hope oh god that'd be the most uh New Jersey uh thing ever and I think we should rightfully claim the captain of the starfish the bad boy of the week in South bad Jersey bad boy of the week bad boy of the week I South want... Jersey bad boy of the week you can't be sober and hit a fucking island in an inlet I mean no, you, uh, but I respect it yeah I respect the move too he's been doing it for 30 years it took him that long to get caught and I'm just making all this up on the fly and uh, the starfish he... has no legal grounds to sue us <laughs> he had to have been hammered there's no way. There's, There's no way that was a sober incident. Unless it was one of those things where it was like a teenager home from college that got to drive the boat for a second. Yeah, but yeah, who would let? I mean, that's a bit, pretty big boat. Yeah, and you got twenty something. I've been on those types of things before. I recommend the High Roller in Atlantic City. Uh, same type of situation. It was BYO as well. I don't think you're allowed back to Atlantic City. No, you specifically. No, I haven't been, been, been allowed back since uh, 2012, and <laughs> it's going to stay that way. Yeah. You know where I am allowed though is Albuquerque, New Mexico. Albuquerque. Did you, did you ever watch Breaking Bad? Yes. All the way through. Uh -huh. Well, then you will be pleased to know that Albuquerque is putting up statues of the meth dealing multiple murdering local heroes walter white and jesse pinkman what talk about trash they are putting up char <laughs> meth character statues they're putting up statues of walter white and jesse pinkman in the middle of albuquerque new mexico oh my god where right by their municipal building i can only hope so um let me see if it says in here two statues were commissioned by a sculptor um they were given to uh i guess they were wondering where to put them, and then the, Vince Gilligan decided to donate the statues to the city of Albuquerque. They'll be un unveiled later this month. I mean, we do. I mean, Philadelphia has uh, a fake boxer right outside of our art museum. That is true. There's but a, these guys are meth dealers. Yeah, meth dealers, murderers. Yeah, not as inspiring. Yeah, as you, Rocky. Because you know how inspired. It's just like what, what a uh, hero to um, to really set your goals to go after and try and reach. We get to look to Rocky, which is just a fake Italian, and in Albuquerque they get fictionalized meth dealers. Oh my God! You know what's really going to draw people in here 
if we, you know, really promote these meth guys and let's make some statues. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be crazy. I would get every single uh, hospital that is treating cancer patients and make sure none of them want to go out and be the next Walter White because you know it's on their minds. If you take a look at those statues and you're out in Albuquerque and you see Walter White it just makes you feel like anything's possible. This is America. This is America. You can do anything. Now, if you could represent your, if you could like just idolize a fictional character after seeing a statue of them from any fictional work of television, of art, of music, I mean, whoever it is, I mean, who would it be a Power Ranger? Would it be a, a Mutant Ninja Turtle? Would it be um, John Montenegro? Who would you idolize as somebody? Definitely not Montenegro. No. I would say, you know, it would be a, a sick statue? Wolverine with the claws. Yeah. And just to, you know, people walk by and you, mm-hmm. you don't fuck. You don't mm-hmm. fucking mess around <laughs> in this city. Yeah, just everybody. I mean, as if mental illness isn't at a high in this uh, country and in Albuquerque alone at this yeah. point, what better way to just keep it on the up and up yeah. than to start putting statues of fictional characters? Take the ones down of the real guys that actually did shit like yeah, Confederate Union. Or, yeah, that shit. How about a superhero? That's in a history book. How about Breaking Thor? Bad characters? Have you seen that show? Yeah. What yeah. other show? There has to be some really good shows that have some badass people. Dude, Game of Thrones, dude, you put up a statue of the mountain. <laughs> that would be sick, dude. You know how many people would take pictures with that? Oh, I forgot you're not a Game of Thrones guy. No, I kind of watch it in the background as Rachel's rewatch. He's like the strongest man in the world. Oh, I've seen him as a, he's been on different things. I've seen him somewhere. I forget his name, the dude from Iceland. Yeah, yeah. Massive. Oh, man. Hammer of a cock. (laughs) Hammer of a cock. I've heard from some friends. What? I don't even really watch a lot of fiction. I'm trying to really think about this. It's just any, dude, you get a, 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 a statue of Thor with the hammer. Yeah. Speaking of hammers, you know. Yeah. Speaking that of hammers. That would be sick. Um, an Iron Man statue. I mean, I'm just going through superheroes here. Superheroes. But. Yeah. I need like a, a real good fictional character that's a real piece of shit scumbag that you would never want oh, represented. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of the show, fictional shows that I'm watching. Mm. Maybe get like a Demogorgon from Stranger Things just to scare people. Yeah, let me see if I can find um, Tony Soprano. Yeah, actually, you know New what? Jersey? Why doesn't New Jersey have a statue of Tony Soprano? That would be sick. I honestly, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they put one up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they should. I, they definitely have something of James Gandolfini somewhere. Yeah. That's for sure. They lowered the flag for him when he passed away. Like they put the the flags at. Oh at yeah, pass. yeah, yeah. They did. I remember them doing that, which yeah. is a really nice gesture. But it's also like. <laughs> is for soldiers <laughs> this guy played a pretty sick character on television yeah but guys i mean like yeah hannibal lecter there's one there's yeah. a guy that if anybody should have Throw a statue in a straight jacket tied to a uh um to a what do you call the uh um a dolly or yeah. whatever it's called yeah that's it, it would be hannibal lecter and they mm-hmm. could put that up right over here in new jersey who's this guy i don't even know who he is Schindler's List. That really gets people in good spirits. I always knew Schindler's List was a fictional movie. <laughs> yeah, God, disrespect. I don't even know who most of these people are. I have never even seen these things. These are some deep cuts. Oh, how about how about Dexter? There's a guy, Miami. You ever yeah. see Dexter? They should have a statue of Dexter down on the, uh, the boatyard somewhere in Miami. That's a good idea. Yep, and it's just like, here's how we do things here. Talk uh, to DeSantis. Vigilante, yeah, he'll put it up. Vigilante justice is what we're all about. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, what else we got going on? We got a, a couple little in the international circuit. We got some interesting stuff. International circuit. The international circuit, uh, there's a study that was done that said 49% of Japanese companies have an old man who does nothing, according to what a is survey. That, what is this article? <laughs> what does that mean? I got to know. And wh- who is this guy sitting on the, there, a Japanese, the swing set? A Japanese company interviewed 300 employees at 300 companies. Uh, and, that's not a big study. And, now, and it's it's not like this just came out of thin air. They specifically asked people if they know of any old guys who don't work at their company. <laughs> who don't? No, who don't work at. Oh, right, right, right. Do they know anybody who sat around of to course. do nothing? Yeah. Everybody at every job knows a person like that. Oh, and of course, they, they surveyed people ages 20, 20 to 39. And old guys referred to anyone over the age of 40. <laughs> yeah. My God. Uh, they said that they do nothing. They just take smoke breaks. And uh, um, that's about it. 
Yeah, I mean every single company. And like honestly, I'm almost right there and I'm 29. Yeah. I can't imagine how lazy I'm going to be when I'm 40, 50, yeah. 60 years yeah. old. Forget about it, dude. Why would you be hustling when you've already made the money, you're getting ready to retire? Yeah, exactly. I think everybody can say, I mean, everybody- I stand with the old dudes. I stand with them too. Uh, I think everybody knows an old man at some company somewhere. It could be an old, I mean, look at all the old guys in government that don't do anything. I mean, this doesn't even have to be tied to a company. If we look at the government as a company, Trust I think me. there's an old guy that works at the government that does nothing too. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't even get into it, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's pretty uh, um, pretty accurate of a survey. So, Who, Have you ever, who's the worst employee that you've ever worked with? worst employee not employer but employee just like any with. job that you've ever had there was a, a person that worked there that like either did something crazy or was just the worst worker oh dude there was a guy um that i worked with at wawa when i was pumping gas mm. every other 15 minute like segment of work he would step because you can't smoke when you're at the gas pumps even though you're outside <laughs> pretty dangerous yeah it's a pretty dangerous thing so I've they're like zoolander yeah i'm taking a i'm taking a smoke break yeah. so they go stand off the pumps and then i gotta cover their pumps they did it at least 15 minutes every hour oh that's that's so, annoying and when that piles up over the course of an eight hour shift sometimes nine or ten hours they're they would always like go there six five yeah. six hours yeah and they were always like very slow workers and everything yeah. every time somebody would come in there and you ever see someone at a gas station like words words to the wise here if you're waiting at a New Jersey gas station and get your gas pumped honking your horn actually po contrary to popular belief will not make that person want to work harder for you people would honk it yeah <laughs> oh yeah people would honk if they if you didn't come over they would just blare their horn and these guys would lose their fucking shit well that is the entitlement of Jersey we're the only ones that pump our pump gas for you and then you know people get real spoiled real quick you know where the fuck are you yeah yeah where the fuck and are you where else can you do that Oregon is the only other state. Oh, really? Yeah. Oregon is the only other one. And it's funny. The New Jersey gas prices are usually cheaper, but you have an employee out there doing yeah. it. I, 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 never I don't know why that. every state doesn't have that. I mean, Yeah, I don't know. It's creating jobs. The gas is more cheaper. More jobs. But it's convenient. Not that the the uh, intellect or quality of the employees doing the gas pumping is usually higher, because uh, I worked with a lot of those folks. Let's just say they're uh, they didn't have much going on, right? Um, not the brightest bulbs. Yeah, no, not, there was always something crazy that was going on. I mean, it's a Wawa, you know, gas station. There was always something yeah. fucking wild going on. I think some of the best people. It was more of the characters that came through. Yeah, because it was right across the street from a Baptist church. Yeah. So if you worked the Sunday morning shift, you would have people that get out of church and they come over to you. And every single Sunday that I had this, it wasn't every single week, but whenever I worked a Sunday, there was this little old woman that would come in from the church and she would hand out tips to people, or you thought they were tips. Uh -huh. You would unfold it, and it was a fake million dollar bill that had Obama on it and it was just like what a kick in the dick like it has nothing to do with the fact that it was a uh, bible verse just uh you know thrown throughout this fake million dollar bill with obama's face on it but like you're opening up something that actually felt like a real dollar yeah i was like i think this lady's making counterfeit money but it's actually not you know even anywhere close to being a legal tender right it, it was just like <laughs> she hands it and it's just like what a fucking i thought it was a single dollar bill turns out it's a million with obama and it's Son worth less a than bitch. a single dollar bill Oh, but there was always some type of crazy people. I had the, there was this kid that I worked with. I'm not going to say his name, obviously, uh, when I was working in a, a corporate job and they had our regional VP was like very high up and yeah. he comes to meet, uh, our office in Philly. And, uh, so everybody would go to the conference room. It's like the whole team is a big team. Right. And it's uh, a young company, a lot of uh, young guys and girls, you know, yeah. a lot of people right out of college. So the regional VP comes, he's getting to know everybody, and he goes, all right, why don't we go around and uh, you know, everybody go through you know, what your name is and what you like about working here. So everybody's going through, hey, my name is Brendan, I like you know, the people, I like whatever. And he's going through everybody, and this one kid who is just fucking wild card, <laughs> dude, and he was... He was dead serious. He goes, uh, you know, doesn't hurt that the chicks are pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. Everybody in the room, silent, just looks at him. And it's like, did you really just say that? And the uh, the regional VP goes, yeah, not to mention they're good at their jobs. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, that too. But I'm just saying, the tail at this company is fucking crazy. Please tell me this guy was like in his 50s with a wedding ring on. No, no, no. This <laughs> is a young dude. 
<laughs> and uh, he, I'm pretty sure he got fired. And uh, yeah, then the next day he uh, accidentally texted his boss and was like, and he asked for a blunt because he was he meant to text his roommate. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious what a way to go out and that probably wasn't even what he got fired for he got no. fired for soliciting a prostitute through text and it, there's a number of stories I, I don't even want to say it because i feel like there's an, enough people i know that will know what i'm talking about and uh he's a really nice dude get so it going i don't have him, throw him under the bus have him come over on the pod bring a blunt bring a hooker and uh, we'll talk <laughs> through it you can sit in a nice recliner yeah. over here and just lay it all out. Let us know where it went wrong. Not and to mention the chicks are pretty hot. Yeah. What in in what world would you think that that would be the the answer he's looking for? If he was managing a strip club or something, like could you imagine the uh, onboarding uh, HR meeting at a strip club for starting day one? Oh, got you in there. <laughs> yeah. What was the initial question that it he answered like, that to? What, what do you like about working here? What do you he, like about? Working? He's like the chicks are hot, <laughs> and this is like a very corporate meeting. Like nobody's joking. Yeah. It, it's like in stand up, you, you make that, you know, a joke where you it always hits yeah. and then all of a sudden for whatever reason it doesn't and you're just like shook. Yeah. Man, that yeah, the only place that, that could fly is if I could see them having like a little a little huddle before the strip club opens yeah. and there's a bartender behind just like, you know, um, uh, drying a glass or something. Yeah. And he's just like, it helps that the chicks are hot. You know? Yeah. You're like, okay, that yeah. makes sense. All right. Just work at a strip club. Yeah. Go back to refilling the, uh, you know, the vodka in sales, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We got the legs and eggs special coming up at uh, nine o'clock here. Can you fucking yeah. dry those a little faster? Yeah. That's where it would come out. But yeah, it, it's just pretty fucking wild for somebody. Wild. Now that's the type of guy that would probably come up to you and be like, Oh, here, I got a funny line for you for your skits that you do. 1000 percent. yeah um yeah. speaking of uh comedy stuff uh anything fun interesting open like slander you want to throw around rumors you want to make up of people i've been kind of padding the scene with like the allegations that we loosely throw around on this thing yeah so um i mean just have at it if there's anything cooking um no allegations that i can think of i did have my car towed last night that's when a, i was in new york one. city that's a good one it was rough I uh, went in, did my spot, feeling great, had a good set. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. And I come out, my car's missing. And I'm like, oh boy. Oh boy. And it was towed, had to go. The lady was so mean, had no problem just disrespecting me right to my face. She, I, she's like, okay, it's going to be $185. I say, okay, thank you. Give her my credit card. She throws it back at me. For no reason. And I'm like, okay. Whipping plastic at you. Jesus. She knows she's got all the power because she's got my vehicle. And I'm like, I got to just eat this because I'm afraid that they'll keep my car if I start a fight right now. Imagine how much power the belt that she was wearing that was holding it all together. Was she a big woman? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I'm just imagining it right now where this belt looks like it's about to come flying at you faster than your credit yeah, card did. No, this isn't somebody that's getting up before work and uh, hitting the treadmill. <laughs> This is somebody who's pretty miserable. It's all right she for us to make fun mean. of this person because of how big she of was, a menace I, she was to I you. would say the meanest person I've ever talked to in my life. Mm. For no reason. I come up, hey, I am picking up my vehicle. And she's like, <laughs> just right off, the, right off the bat. Like I gave her nothing, no reason to be a cunt to me. <laughs> and just absolutely was. Oh, my God. And I get it. You work at a horrible, horrible job. Yeah. And you probably have assholes every single day. Yeah. But, like, I could – I was actively trying so hard. I'm like, I am going to out-nice you that you have to say you're welcome. Yeah. I kept saying, thank you. <laughs> Th oh, thank you. <laughs> thank and I you kept so my voice much. down, and I was so quiet. Yeah. And I was so respectful. And uh, she could not have given less of a fuck. And then – all of it hits you at the end where they just come out and they have to ask you to sign the release so that you get shown on parking wars. So we'll see what the video yeah. says about your reaction. I wanted to this. get my car, fly out of there, and just throw a fucking Mazel Tov cocktail right through there. What is that? Mazel Tov? <laughs> Molotov. <laughs> Molotov. Mazel Tov is the Jewish, the Jewish thing you say version. at a wedding. Yeah, yeah. That, that'd be the Jewish version of yeah. throwing a uh, um, a lit bottle of alcohol at into a bar it. mitzvah or something. <laughs> yeah. Molotov cocktail. Just fucking throw it right in there and go, speaking of molotov you. cocktails do you see how many they were throwing uh in uh, ukraine and all the russian forces and i 
bring that up because I saw, do you notice how quickly people got rid of the Ukrainian flags from their online profiles once they realized during Pride Month how homophobic of a country Ukraine is? No. <laughs> they did a study in an index, and it's been like this for a long time. People didn't know that. Ukraine, out of all the European or generally that area of the world, not even just Europe, but all the countries around Europe, um, they did it like an index of how tolerable they are of uh, um, LGBTQ community people. That's really interesting. And Ukraine is by far and beyond one of the most homophobic countries in the entire area. Like that they, is so funny. You know what uh, that just made me realize? Like everybody shits on America these days. You know, the racism and this and that. In comparison with, I feel like most European countries. Yeah. Who is doing is making more effort to be less racist like <laughs> you go to european countries if you're not from there yeah. they fucking hate you yeah like, get out yeah dude i dude. mean who is mo- really making more of an effort than america i'm not saying america is not racist there's not issues but yeah. like <laughs> we're in comparison pretty fucking good yeah it's just, it reminds me of that old who day. else is having pride parades yeah exactly i mean you might see them in some other place but not ukraine no they're certainly not they're not doing one down the middle of uh kiev um but it reminds me of that old daniel tosh bit that he did i forget what special it was but uh he's he was talking about the diversity in other countries he's like look at the chinese gymnastics team yeah it's not too diverse it's full of chinese chicks yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just goes on and tosh it's like is great man so, he's, co- he's going on tour again is he yeah i would go see him i think i would too he's yeah. a very underrated stand-up yeah. because he's just not out there he's not you know you don't see him doing it anywhere unless he's on tour yeah i saw a taping of tosh point oh it was actually pretty neat yeah um sitting in a room with like 30 people just watching videos and they taped it twice so you had to like fake your reaction the oh, second really? time yeah um it was pretty neat to do it but yeah. um but yeah compare and i forget where i was going with that ukraine and that molotov cocktails uh the um i mean Parking authority in Philadelphia is just as ridiculous as New Jersey. And I feel like the PPA uh, has an internship program at the beaches in New Jersey on the beach tag patrol people. That's where they start them out young. And mm-hmm. some of the retired ones, all the old women that work the beach tag things, on, they sit in the dune all day. You know, they, they try and get people as they're going on the beach. Then they got the kids patrolling the beach. Right. They are former and coming up of people that are going to be giving out tickets in Philadelphia. So when you're down there, make sure you scout them out. See if you recognize anybody or just get ready to see what's coming. I don't like them. No, no. I don't like them. No good. And some of them don't give a fuck either. You see them every single time. Say mo- yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, if you're lucky. Yeah, if you're lucky. Speaking of cars too, did you see this? BMW is now making their heated seats an $18 a month subscription service again. Really? And this is the problem. I try and tell people all the time that when you go smart with a lot of things, they want to move. You see everything now. Go smart, Bluetooth, this, that, get this. Get a smart refrigerator. Get a smart microwave. Get a, um, yeah, get, too much. I can't keep up. No, because you, you're not buying those products. Basically, you didn't get a BMW with heated seats. You have a BMW with seats that could be heated if you pay a subscription. So they're going to charge people $18 a month to fucking warm your ass. It's like I could just do that by just shitting myself and driving instead. Right. (laughs) And also how much more money are they going to make from a subscription service versus, hey, why don't I just pay for the car to have that in there? Yeah. So I don't have to – it's like paying rent. It's like why don't I just buy it? Yeah, exactly. Why are you renting warm warm ass? On top of buying a brand new BMW, it's like, hey, we're going to get you for another $18 a month. You got to rent that warm ass. Yeah, you got to – yeah, you can't warm your ass on your own. And we better not see you in that car with a heating pad. That's so – dude, I'm so sick of – I mean, obviously, these things are convenient, the smart TVs, all this stuff. But, like, I hate that you have to have, like, a login for everything you want to do. It drives me fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Every single app that you download – or like you just want to look something up and it's like, okay, you have to create an account. I'm like, forget it. Dude, forget because it. Because they want to get all your data. They got to get it tied in. Just mm-hmm. like I've, I've seen stuff. It's a classic example. If you want like one of those Bluetooth microwaves or smart, you know, connective, mi- any then type of product. have an account. And I'm like, when yeah. the fuck am I going to use this again? This is so annoying. As opposed to if you had a normal microwave, you could use it whenever you want for eternity. Yeah. But now they can just brick it and just say, yeah, you can't use it until you get a subscription plan. Yeah. And then it's like, well, now you just have a brick sitting there right. that you can't even use. So it's like, why get – because that's what they can do to it. You need a software upgrade to use it, and then you're shit out of luck unless you're paying $18 a month for toast. And that stuff also just makes me nervous because I'm like, if like the the yeah. internet goes down, yeah. like I, I have a smart stove. 
Right oh now. fuck well then there you go and i'm like what like and I, you got, I don't even know how to work it dude it, it, yeah you don't even know how to work it and now you're relying on comcast to keep your yeah. internet connection afloat and i'm like i just need a fucking i need warm a warm meal why are we overcomplicating yeah this? you can't warm your ass or your food unless you're paying a subscription fee <laughs> yeah i just I, I i'm just so like the convenience that they offer with some of these products is great but i'm so lazy when it comes to because it's just everything, everything in your life, everything you're surrounded by becomes like a smart thing. Yeah, it always has to. Every, that's the way the world is going, unfortunately. Um, what, what is the, what yeah, we're a bunch of old. We're a bunch of really, man, the, these, 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 these smartphones are for dumb people. Man, man, it did, not, it did not used to be like that back in the day. The smart cars are actually for dumb drivers. It's you know just, what? although I will say with the smart, it, you get the, it's not even a smart car, but just the cars that have the automated um, lane assist. I don't know. Well, I mean, luckily, <laughs> this is why we've avoided buying BMWs. Oh, yeah, that's probably the sole Fuck, reason. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're, we're sticking, I'm sticking with my 2014 Chevy Cruze. Got the heated seat. That I don't have to pay a subscription fee. So everybody with a BMW, go fuck yourself, idiots. <laughs> 2013 Corolla. I got two hubcaps left. Get at me. Yeah, yeah. And you can just heat your seats by just keeping the windows up too long on a hot summer day, and then you just open it up, and then you're sweltering. No That's AC. Do. That's perfectly fine. It works great. It does. But uh, do you ever notice with the uh, my drive uh, my wife's car, which is in my name? Uh, funny enough, um, there's a lane assist in there, so it detects when you start going over the line. Uh-huh. It's basically like you know when you went bowling with bumpers on either yeah, side. Yeah. You can just you can just do that while driving. Now it's just like oh, we're gonna push you back in the lane. Oh, we're gonna push you back in the lane. They're just making just... it so easy for us to drive drunk. Yeah, they're making it easier and easier, easier and easier to do it. But then it's so smart that like I don't even know how to fucking turn it off. I don't even know how to like how can I switch lanes without getting thrown back into the other lane. Right. I try and go this way and go back that way. You know, it's really fitting for me to wear my shirt that says "World's Greatest Pop Pop." Yeah. And so uh, it's we're turning into these kind of guys. I got a lawn out front to yell at kids to get off of. Um, it's nice. It's it's really nice. I might just set up a lawn chair out there, drink some iced tea, and some yell at some children. Yeah, man. Watch a couple of the little league games. Yeah, start betting on the kids in the stands. They'd be like, which which kid is yours? I got none of them here. Yeah, I just, just I got money out there everywhere. Yeah, just start talking shit, talking shit. Oh. Man, we should if, turn to double, Tommy. <laughs> you if, pussy. If it wasn't um, probably illegal and unethical for us to go film children playing sports, uh, I would say we we try and take yeah. this on the road. Well, they and... put a stop to you doing that a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. And well, I, you I learned was, your lesson. And I was just filming all the games, and they're just like, "Hey, what are you? Uh, is, is it your kid pitching?" It's like, "No, I'm just filming." Right. Um, right. Little League World Series is my Super Bowl, so uh, you know. It's a little strange. Well, it's one of those things. I got money on every. I got the lines on all the uh, Camden County teams. Uh, I think Audubon's got a pretty good shot this year. Uh, they're uh, they're favored to win over uh, Gloucester Township. So really, it's a, yeah, it's a pretty pretty big deal. Um, they got this one lefty, eleven years old. I mean, he can throw a mean sinker. Um, and the coach doesn't want him to as much because he has an AAU team that he plays on elsewhere. So it's kind of wow situation. Really ingrained in these teams. Dan. Yep. <laughs> Sorelli is his name. I almost went <laughs> careful. <laughs> careful. I meant to say Nick Cancerelli. Oh boy, there's a there's a <laughs> there's a toilet. There's flush. a toilet. I haven't had to use one of those in a few episodes. That but was a big time flush. Whoopsie cakes. <laughs> now I see how that happens on live TV, where someone drops a uh, you know a certain word they might not be allowed to say yeah. uh, on television. Drops a Biden. Yep. There we go. Ah, come on, man. Um, come on, man. With the outline. Yeah, yeah, someone's got to do something about this, man. <laughs> I mean, these guys out here, they're just, they're betting, they're betting on Little mm-hmm. League sports. Roe versus Wade, how how did that happen? <laughs> I would never have, wait, they did what? Someone's got to do something. I think you're the president guy. Yeah, he probably started. I, <laughs> I don't know. Did you see Jill Biden today called? Uh, yeah, um, like she called them emp- empanadas or something. She said no, she was like, that "You guys are as unique as the breakfast burritos and or whatever." Something. Yeah, she said something about the ta- the breakfast tacos in San Antonio. Yeah. She was talking about the Latinx community, but then she pronounced bodega as bagada, bodega, bodega. So I was like, "Wow." It clearly shows how uh, they have never come within a square mile yeah, of a bodega that before. That is a wild pronunciation. <laughs> it, it's I was offended, and uh, I, I only get burritos from bodegas <laughs> once in a while. It's kind of a tongue twister in a yeah. way. But, you know, what can you do? Can't win them all, Jill. Um, but, you know, she is a doctor, so yeah. give her that. 
Dr. Um, Jill. Dr. Jill. She's from South Jersey as well, so she can... Uh, Joe and Jill went yeah. up the hill, never made it back down, because they're <laughs> old as fuck. Yep. Jill. She's another, she could be the bad girl of the week. Um, yeah. yeah. It's just throwing out all the Latin stereotypes as possible. It's like, you guys got the best burritos. I love your tacos. The salsa in your bagadas is great. Yeah, trust it's, me. I go there all the time yeah. to the bagadas. It's like, wasn't it a few years ago, 20, the 2016 campaign where Hillary was going around the radio stations and she was pulling out hot sauce on the black stations? She's like, yeah, I carry around a bottle of hot sauce. It's like, Jesus Whoa. Christ. <laughs> the, the, uh, Unintentional racism is ridiculously oh, yeah. hilarious. It's, and it's at an all-time high right now. You guys right like now, this so. stuff, huh? You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Jesus. She's like, I eat the hot sauce on my chicken. Yeah, come um, on. I'm just one of the guys. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, lady. And this this goes across, the, and this is why. They're all just senile old people. Yeah. We were talking about this last time. Get them out. Get all these old guys who do nothing around the office. Just get them out. And just bring in some uh, some fresh thirty year olds that could fuck things up even worse. That's yeah. what I say. I mean, she, she can't not have her appall on me right now. She keeps, she'll she, get fucking pissed if you do anything. But <laughs> she s- keeps going. She's like, no, I'm leaving yeah, in here. I didn't no, tell you to okay. stop. Yeah, it's okay. She is a real hussy. I think we need to bring that word back. Oh, hussy. A hussy. I think it was an old time word for a whore. Oh yeah. And that's what she is. She just throws herself at everybody. Maybe Acts a like she's hussy. Yeah, little hussy. Well, we got some hussies to go get after ourselves. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll call it. We'll call it on here, and we'll be back week after week, whether you like it or not. Um, report us to our bosses at Spotify if you have a problem with this, as I think most people do. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I think that's about it. All right. See you next week, fellas. Yeah. And fellas. ladies, lady fellas, lady fellas, Drake and Josh. That's our moms. Yeah. Nice. <laughs>